Okay, it's Monday, November 8th, 2010, and I am in Klamath Falls, Oregon, descending from the steps of my home. Right now we're looking at Oregon Avenue, which is one of the northernmost exits from Highway 97, it's a two-lane federal uh, highway. This is my neighbor, neighbor's place over here. He is both a real estate agent and a NRA certified instructor of concealed weapons, carrying concealed weapons. This is the yard I raked. <laughs> Yesterday, our house needs a paint job. Rock wall. Got a decently sized backyard, although it's on a slope. Okay, so I'm not selling real estate today, but um, let's get just take a quick glimpse. We got this house, although it does need work um, for around 80000 Hopefully that's visible. In the background you can faintly hear some birds, things like that. This is November. Uh, first signs of snow, although I can't speak as much authority, I've only been here for a couple of days. Uh, hit the ground for maybe a few minutes yesterday while I was sweeping. I still am getting a ton of leaves from my the trees in front of the house. So somehow support this somewhere. Just to see because I'm a lot shorter than my wife. <laughs> Put the seat belt on. I was hoping I'd come up with some ingenious way to take some footage while I drove, but I think I'll be able to use one hand and survive. Hopefully, I killed for it. My thoughts will be on the road and what I'm talking about and not on a conversation that will trap me into a dangerous situation. Radio, they got decent. A couple of them have been shut down since we've been here. I think a couple decent ones. I found the neighbors here to be very kind. Carl Pfeiffer, very kind. Neighbor Andrea. <laughs> Just put our garbage out. <laughs> Mostly leaves from our yard. So let's see what traffic is like here. This I would say is equivalent. God, if I were to turn this radio now. If I were in um, LA, this is kind of like uh, the traffic volume of Kenneth Road. The only thing is, this is not an alternative. Charger, and I'll pass on that. Uh, this is not an alternative route. This is actually one of the main routes. The speed limit on this part of the road is 25. Most people uh, adhere to that or even go a little bit slower. I am about there. Biking in the streets. Climate Falls has a high level of unemployment. Housing's, you know, it's decent, right? I mean, it's nothing super fancy, but it's patently Oregon. And you're, you know you're gonna have once in a while you get some snow on the ground. You got your trees. You have nice little neighborhoods here and there. And I'm on a main road now. I haven't really gone back into the less the populated enclaves that are in that area. Right now I'm just going, still going down Oregon, which suddenly becomes Prospect. 
and then it becomes tenth, I believe. So, you know, this is, in a way, this is a nice time of year, so long as you're not the one raking the leaves. Um, a lot of the streets here are also one way. Um, historically, Klamath Falls has some influence, actually, from San Francisco, but, um, obviously, <laughs> not on the size and scale and population of San Francisco. I'd say that the only thing that really remains of that influence are the one-way streets in an otherwise small town. Um, so I'm probably going to make a right here, and this person is behind me to the right. Yeah, patently, the, the drivers really aren't, they aren't pushy at all. They're, they're, they're for the most part, they're, they're polite. If anybody's, um, if anybody's pushy around here, it's probably me, for God's sake. Okay, this is our safe way, and I think I'm going to make a right turn down Main Street, but you can see here there's an old theater, the old Raglan Theater. I, it's, the structure's still there, but they aren't showing shows. More or less, they have community-oriented activities taking place there. Lots of brick buildings. You, you're not going to see this kind of thing in L.A. because of the earthquakes. The danger of having brick around here solely lies in that Mount Chasta is about 20, 30 miles away. If it were to have a violent eruption, perhaps the ground would tremor, and perhaps there would be some damage, but certainly not enough to take these things down. This is not known as a earthquake area. I haven't thought about it much. Uh, mostly the plate tectonic movements that happen around here are related to, um, uh, you know, the plate, uh, the, the cascades basically rising because one of the plates, I think it's the Pacific plate, uh, is going underneath the North American plate. That's probably a gross overgeneralization. Okay, so here is a couple of roads they're saying to go up to, and basically to get to the other part of town, this isn't the only part of town there is. This is basically old downtown, still considered downtown for the most part, in my mind. A lot of it haven't been here long enough to say it's old, I could tell by the buildings that it's old. Just uh, beyond there, that you might see two small Christmas trees way in the distance below a hill, and that's the end of the downtown area. There's a black dog, pool table. Everywhere here, most of the bars have organ lotto machines where you can play certain types of bingo from anywhere from one to maybe 25 cents a line. Not really bingo, I guess. Uh, the Indians call it bingo. It's um, slots. <laughs> so here's here's the traffic trying to get out of this area of town. <coughs> there pretty much there's only two ways to go to get out of this part of town, to get over the bridge to suppose the newer portion of Klamath Falls where a lot of the newer businesses are. There's also a very, very large railroad yard that I gather is not used as much as it used to be. Now with trucks unions, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why there would be less train use here. Except maybe if they used to be used for delivering logging. The logging industries pretty much left this area used to be very big. The reason why Klamath Falls is no longer a set of falls but a dam is partially to do with the logging industry. Okay, and this is the industrial area. I mean, it's got a pretty pretty good-sized industrial structure here, existent. Now we can increase our speed up to 35. You can, if you can tell, those mountains there on the left that look kind of like hills, um, there's a very faint light cover of snow from last night up there, and sometimes when a snow season's either starting or stopping, you'll see that kind of thing. There's our large train yard, very large train yard, and that train, uh, one of the trains ends up going along Highway 97 all the way up to, um, uh, around Crater Lake, where about, even though it's only about an 60 miles from Crater Lake, I'd say it's at least a good two-hour drive. You can't just decide to go there, you know, later on in the afternoon. Okay, now I guess the newer downtown area, more modern type of downtown area, is going to come up. And so, not here yet. Now they're saying this is East 
Main that we're crossing. I know when I was in downtown, I was on Main. It gets a little confusing because the roads are kind of crisscross diagonal. Um, here we have, you know, just basic fast food. Some of them are locally owned, and some of these fast food chains are, are nationally known. Um, and this this area, I'm not saying this is the new downtown. We're, we're getting towards that area. Um, Klamath Falls' finest and best hotel <laughs> is the Holiday Inn Express here on the right. <laughs> and uh, also this is the Diamond Home Center that I've been to many times to get various things to fix up the place. Here's Carlson's. They always have a blowout sale, but they're always overpriced. Go figure. At least that's my opinion. But I could be very well wrong. It seems like a very nice, good, you know, nice person, good family that owns that. You know, I don't want to say anything bad about it, and actually I, I shouldn't say anything about furniture prices, I, I'm, I'm not really well dressed on it, and I have no idea about the quality, they probably have really good quality in there versus some of the mattresses I saw at, okay, so this, this right here I'd say is the epicenter of traffic in Klamath Falls, this is Washburn Way, if you made it right and you went down there, it gets a little bit uh, industrial Esque, and on the right there is a Walmart, and of course businesses, fast food places have built up around that to catch people wanting something to eat, you know, Taco Bell, and <laughs> places of that nature. And this is this what used to be the finest hotel in Plymouth Falls, the Best Western Olympic. Okay, so let's go over here. On the right is a mall that. Um, they had a lot of hopes for that just kind of died out. Um, it's called the Jefferson Mall. And the only reason why I've ever gone to, to this Jefferson Mall here, and I'll get into the Jefferson story in a sec, or maybe on my next part, I only have a couple minutes. Here's our second Safeway here. All within reasonable distance. All within, This is uh, Monday at around, uh, well, I don't know what time it is. Maybe it's 10 in the morning. We got a little borders. That borders isn't going to be as big as what you'd find at any larger urban area mall. Blockbuster is completely gone. This is probably the impact of them doing their videos from home and uh, also um, Netflix. The internet has taken a little bit of, has lowered some of our rental lease prices by one cent for everybody. <coughs> we got a Washington Federal. Then we got the Elmers, the good old Elmers. It's a good place to go and get you some breakfast. In there, there's also a little pink parrot where you can play your bingo games. But that's not the only place there. Everywhere there, diamond doesn't around here. A lot of people play bingo around here, and I think a lot of people end up losing money on that. It's unfortunate. Okay, so um, where are we? Okay, so now we're getting into, I guess, an older area, but a disconnected area to downtown. Obviously this artery here has been around, but um, now on the left here we're going to have the, the Klamath County Fairgrounds, and I really wish I knew more about the Falls history for the purposes of this video, but I've never wanted to know enough to be absolutely fully grilled in it. Basically here is Klamath uh, Falls is the biggest city in Klamath County, and Klamath County is a pretty big county covering the um, southeast of Oregon, and for a long ways, the reason why there's this much um, industrial buildup, or I guess there's a big lots, is because there's a lot of smaller towns that surround the area in a very large county, and they need, a lot of people need to go into town, I guess, you know, it might be a hundred mile drive for them, although, you know, I'm talking about a small population, though, but there's, there's a group of people, enough to, to help sustain little more than you'd expect from a smaller town as far as um, commercial buildup. Now here, I, gosh, you know, am I going to guess, is this the, I'm going to guess up coming up here is the Klamath River, and I just better stop so I can use this one. I do have 15 minutes to go off my hands.